hey y'all i'm back y'all in my living room today because i was y'all usually in the diva den which is like my closet office space but i was like whatever i don't feel like doing all of that i wanted to do this video because number one i was like how's about my skin i think it's just the lighting guys i don't have great skin <laughs> i could actually do better with my skin but i always had bad skin anyway i wanted to talk about money i know the last video i talked about money and relationships and I feel like money is such like a sensitive topic with people and like they're just like oh I don't like it's just it's just awkward it's awkward for me I'm sure it was awkward for y'all but I was just talking out loud and like my just a lot of these videos of me just like processing thoughts like I haven't come to a real conclusion uh which is so weird for me because I'm usually a very like decisive person but I guess me approaching my 30s and just looking at life differently I just haven't really I'm, I'm making I'm making new decisions but I just haven't made a decision. But I want to talk about money as far, as far as like making my own money. This has nothing to do with a man or a relationship at all. And I want to say that the American dream is ghetto. It It is ghetto. My whole life in college, and I do apologize, I am not great with politics. Like I stay away from politics because I honestly, this sounds horrible, I really don't care. But I want to talk like in college, you're taught about the American dream and then if you're in a very like liberal space they a lot of people talk about the American dream is just pretty much set up for Americans to fail it's very I hate poor people kind of thing there's no kind of excuses and it's also not considering all the intersectionalities of people of color people of different ethnicities backgrounds and legal citizen statuses and all of these different things right and it's always anti-capitalism hate capitalism money is bad America's bad with money horrible chitty chitty bang bang kill it all kind of aesthetic and now that I live in New York City so I, I I never really um agreed or disagreed with that I always just kind of took it in as another approach because you always get the pull yourself up by the bootstraps straps type of teaching right in life in, in elementary school but when you start going to college and you're more like liberal spaces and people are kind of figuring out their pol political views you hear both sides so I never really did one or the other I grew up in poverty and I knew growing up in poverty that I was like, I'm not doing this again. So <laughs> sometimes I make some money. So I never really considered myself to be whatever. And I feel like now as an adult, that it's like becoming a little bit more open-minded, trying to understand both sides of this thing called capitalism in the United States of America. I feel like money is just horrible in America. Like if you don't have any money, if you're poor, we don't treat poor people well, right? Like we don't really like poor people. If you are middle class, it's like you you're not great like you're not horrible but you're not great you're like mediocre you're like ah, you, you did what you needed to do here's a cookie you can't really benefit even if you need more so you have more children you can't really benefit from being middle class and it's kind of hard to get out of middle class and if you have a lot of money all of a sudden you're very exploitative 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 i think that's the word there's so there's no there's no winning there's no like good amount of money that a person can have in the united states of america right but I live in New York City. New York City is very expensive. I have my own apartment here. It is, if I told y'all my rent, you probably would fall over. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep that to myself, but it's it's as bad as you think it is. Um, and I decided one day, I always knew that I wanted to have money. Like I was like, I wanna have money. I want to have a good life. I wanna have a comfortable life. And even when I had nothing, I always had a savings account. I paid off my loans, my student loans a year out of college. Okay, I was not playing with with them. I always had scholarships. Even when I was a high school, I would save money. I would only spend money on like fun things, like going to restaurants with my friends. But I always had money. I paid for my way through college. I've never, my parents have never taken out a loan for me. I can't even think of the last time my parents have helped me financially after graduating high school. And I know that sounds dramatic, but I promise you, I have not wanted anything. The most I was given out of high school is my uncle, I mean, my cousin, I call him my uncle, bought me a charger for my computer. And that's when I was like making $500 every every two weeks. And I still was able to pay my own rent and my own food in New York City. So pat on the back, I, I was independent, whatever. But now that I've accumulated some money, I've worked my way up in the ranks, I need more money. <laughs> because <laughs> I've upgraded my lifestyle and I never thought that I would be a businesswoman I just never that was never my thing like I never wanted to own anything I never wanted to be in charge of anything I just like 
to run my mouth and get things done. But I've been, sorry, I've just been talking for five minutes about nothing. So I hope you guys can follow up. But I just was hearing a lot about just like being able to work on your purpose and taking risk. So 2021 was the year of strategic risks. I haven't taken the risk yet, but I'm trying my best to do things right. So I talked about my business. So what I want to do, I own, I, I am in my apartment. I rent my place out for photo shoots and video shoots and a lot of hosts, it's called Peer Space. There's places like Splacer and stuff like that. You could do the same thing. And I really love it. Like I really enjoy it. It's great passive income. And that's what I want to create is more passive income. I don't think that what I work, what I'm working on will replace my income. Well, I can't speak like that. It could replace my income, but it's we're really far off. But I want to take the chance because I really do enjoy cultivating themed spaces for content and photo shoots, video shoots, whatever. So I'm opening another space and I want to do it the right way. I want to have my LLC, my bank account, all that stuff, which I finally did. When I tell you I have no idea what's going on, taxes, I've opened the bank account. I was like, they're like, do you want to open a credit card? And I was like, let's not do that. Let's not do that because I don't know what I'm doing. So that's what I'm doing right now. And I just, I'm, I'm terrified. I'm just terrified. And I just, it sucks because it's like, why do I have to have four, five, six different streams of income to just survive? But talking about it's not going to make it go away, right? Like, I know there's a lot of people who are like anti-capitalist, but like, you still go to work, you know? You still have to pay your bills, you still have to live. So I'm always like in limbo, like, what is this? Is this life? But it's, an, it's a form of passive income. It doesn't cause me stress. It's not taking anything out of my pocket, but just having to think and like, make my mind like, be open to these different ideas. Like I asked God, I was like praying. I was like, Lord, please give me some creativity. And that's where I landed on this business thing. And I always, I'm like, well, I would love to open a different business. Like, I, I wish I had a great invention or something to sell. I don't. I don't. I just got me being cute and like a cute ass personality. And that's pretty much what we're working with right now. <laughs> right now. And I'm creative. I'm, I, I have a brain, but it does take a lot for me to get out of it. And I talked about that in my first video when I came back to YouTube. Like, I feel like being in school... Everything was about being good at school. Like you just were just a great, you're a great student. You get things done. And it never cultivated like creativity and like being able to use your gifts to make more money. Um, and now I'm at a place where I'm like, I know how to do things. I know how to make money, but it's okay if I like try different things. And it's okay if I know if I use those things to make more money. What am I talking about? I don't know. I do not know. But I want to say, <laughs> I want to say that making money, thinking of other ways to make money is stressful, even though I haven't done anything. It's not like I opened a restaurant and I have, I'm, I'm a quarter million in the hole, right? But I really think that those type of people are really brave. Like if you've ever started a business, even if it's like an Etsy shop or you just sold lemonade or whatever, or you know what I mean? You have babysitting services or, or dog sitting, so like... I just feel like we're all really smart and we're really intelligent. And I just don't know in the American economy, whatever, whatever your beliefs are as far as capitalism and economy and all that stuff here in America, I don't think any of us can really afford to just rely on one source of income, especially considering what we've gone through in this past two years. So I'm just trying to open my mind up, get things done, try things out. I'm telling you, the LLC process, it wasn't super hard because I went to YouTube University to get me through it. But the EIN taxes, stuff like that, like it was, it, again, it's not hard. Like everything I did, nothing costs crazy, like a crazy amount of money to get it done. But it was just like mentally struggling. Like I opened a bank account, but I'm like, how do I pay taxes? I know that sounds stupid, but when the money comes, like does someone send me an email and like pay your taxes? Because I'm used to doing that under an employer. Like I know I sound stupid. <laughs> I sound stupid, but I really don't know. Someone did comment and say, get an accountant. Accountant. And I also need to get comfortable with paying people for their services. Like, I'm so cheap. I'm always trying to do something for free. And I'm like, no, you should probably hire an accountant. Maybe you don't, you don't have to give them access to your accounts or anything. But just, like, consultation and figuring things out. But that's where I'm at right now. I say I wanted to talk about this because I went searching for a space today that I did not like. And I won't use it for my peer space space. But it just had me thinking, I'm like, this is just crazy. Like I never thought when I was graduating college that I would be thinking about ways to make passive income. When I say passive income, I'm thinking like an, an extra $10,000 a year. 
nothing groundbreaking for me really but it's you know it's an extra ten thousand dollars a year you know and as tony gaston would say money does spend okay um I think a lot of us can use an extra ten thousand dollars, especially if it's not anything that exerts a lot of energy. And I was just thinking, like, this is so bizarre. It's just so bizarre. And I don't know how I got to this point, and I don't know how I got comfortable in this point. But I'm, just, I hope that I can stay here. I feel I'm feeling, I'm feeling like runaway bride. Like I just want to, like I dip my foot in the pond, and I was like, this is getting really intense. I really need to be an adult. I'm kind of making it up as I go and I want to jump out of the pond. I want to get out. But I'm like, I would really be doing myself a disservice if I just didn't follow through. And I don't see myself as like girl boss, but like that would be kind of sickening for me. Like imagine if I had like a whole office. No, no, I can't be in charge of that. But I'm like, what, what, if, what if this works? What if this works and I need like employees, right? And I have to give them like insurance and benefits and bonuses and all this stuff. Like what if it does work? You never know. I just wanted to clear my mind. It was on my mind. You know, you guys know. I think you guys are getting the hang that I really don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm just kind of talking. But I'm curious. Have you ever wanted to start a business? Did you start a business? How's it going? How do you feel? That's all. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.